I've always heard the argument about uh, the sexualization of women in video games, and it happens too much that when there's a woman hero, she's incredibly thin and busty, or if she's wearing armor, it's very revealing, not really protecting anything, while men characters are very armored, very protected, very uh, regular armor. Uh, and that argument goes across all media, movies, video games, comic books, TV shows, basically everything that they would have a female lead character, she's almost always incredibly thin, incredibly busty, this this perfect specimen of what of what that idea of a woman should be. It's a valid argument. Most women in TV shows and games and movies and comic books are just like that. It's very rare that there's a a regular everyday looking woman as a main character or a hero in a story. Uh, for whatever reason, the creators of whatever it is think that they have to have this 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 goddess as their main character or it's not going to sell or it's not going to be appealing or people aren't going to like it because the character isn't the perfect example of what they feel a woman should be. I don't want to talk about this too much because obviously I'm not a woman so I can't really talk about the ins and outs of this particular issue. What I can talk about and what I want to talk about is the other side of this argument. It's always that women are over-sexualized, uh, women are exposed or made to feel like that should be the perfect woman and that normal-looking women shouldn't, uh, you know, shouldn't be the heroes and the main characters of these things. It's kind of the same thing for men. In almost all the video games I've played or movies or TV shows, the main characters are always these thin, muscular, handsome-looking guys who are completely far away from what I actually am. Uh, even, in, even in The Big Bang Theory, all of the nerds in that show are, are these you know, thin, more or less handsome-looking guys. I said it before in my Relating to Our Heroes video that I was really excited about the Pandaren race in World of Warcraft because it was a fat, hairy, beer-drinking, food-eating character that could also kick ass. Uh, that's one of the only instances that I can think of where they've had a main character like that. Uh, all the other video games and movies and things like that haven't really seen. Now sure, there's every now and then an off character or a minor character or a comic relief who's fat and hairy or has a beard or something like that. Um, specifically one that comes to mind is Enslaved. Uh, it's a great game, check it out. Uh, but there are only three characters, two of which are these incredibly handsome individuals, this guy and this girl, and then the third is this fat guy who is the embodiment of a pig. His name is Pigsy. Yes, he's a funny character, but it's one of the only, you know, really fat characters that I can think of, aside from maybe the Blob from X-Men, uh, which, Blob, I mean, that, that's kind of meh. Uh, but Pigsy is gross and fat and a pig and incredibly insulting and offensive and gross. And did I mention gross? Uh, he's a gross character. But, you know, there aren't a whole lot of representations of what normal guys look like. Uh, in Mass Effect, as Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard is, you know, the human. But he's this, you know, incredibly chiseled, worked out dude who is supposed to represent all of humanity. And that's not really the case. Uh, all of the humans in that in that game are, you know, these incredibly attractive humans where normal people look could look more like Krogan than like Caden or Jacob or uh, Commander Shepard. This art, this issue isn't talked about a whole lot. I think the amount of articles I've read, I could probably count on one hand uh, about the kind of sexualization of men in video games. Or geek culture in general. And I kind of feel that this is something that should be talked about a little bit more. Uh, if we're going to talk about the sexualization of women in video games and geek culture, why, no, why don't we talk about the sexualization of men? Because it does happen. Uh, most of the characters in video games and movies and everything are, like I said, these chiseled guys, when in actuality, me and the other 
you know, geek culture nerds look more like Mario than Commander Shepard. What I don't want to happen, though, is I don't want to get into the argument of who has it worse, men or women. Because that's not the case. That's not something we should be arguing about that, that defeats the purpose of the argument of who's more of a victim of this. Uh, if we're going to fix, if we're going to argue about one thing, we should argue about the entire spectrum of it. That there should be more normal looking people in movies and video games and comics. Uh, where's my fat hero? You know? Aside from, I guess, Jack Black. Who... Okay. It's Jack Black. He did Kung Fu Panda, and that was a good example of it. Uh... But where's the rest of it? Why, why do we have to have these incredibly attractive, incredibly chiseled, perfect specimens of humanity to represent us in comic books and movies and video games? Uh, I hope this argument makes sense. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you agree with me, let me know. If you don't, also let me know. Write it in a comment, share the video so others can throw in their opinions as well, and subscribe to my channel so you can get more videos from me. Until then, check back later and we can geek out some more. Have fun.